All right, I'm just gonna quickly share this. So can join if they would like to. And just gonna share this to my actually we'll just leave it at that for now. All right. So the last couple of days I haven't been able to stream. Been doing some other stuff. Um, I was able to work a little bit during the day. I got this one all finished up. The grand elevator one. It's looking awesome. I'm excited for this one. That one's all done. And we also have the Lake Louise one that we're gonna be working a bit on tonight. So I'm only gonna be streaming here for about an hour this evening. And so I'm going to, if I can bring up my reference photo. Um, where would that be? I'm gonna be working on the green areas of this, bring it up in my downloads here. Okay, my screen is locked. So for the green areas, what I usually use is some chromium oxide green and some hookers green deep hue permanent. And then I'll just mix a little bit of either cadmium yellow, yeah, this one's the medium hue, or the cadmium yellow light in there um, to brighten those up. I'm just gonna put these ones down to the side because we don't need those ones tonight. All right, so we're gonna start with the darkest ones. And actually what, one thing I forgot for this one is um, some of the greens kind of have a blue tinge to them, the ones that are towards the back of the painting. So I use some of this thalo blue um, added into there to give them that, that green tinge. So I'm just gonna put, we're gonna try to not waste a lot of paint tonight. Just gonna throw a little bit of that dark green there. Cause it's pretty strong. And this cadmium yellow medium doesn't have a very strong tinting power. And so even though I'm adding one to one ratio right here, you'll see how dark this stays. Although I think I'm gonna need a little bit more paint overall for this. I'm just gonna add a little bit more dark to it. Okay. Then we're gonna use this same and just add some phthalo blue to it. In a minute anyways. Okay. Scrape this all to the front. Try to use up as much as we can. So I'm just gonna go through like I usually do and we're gonna mark the ones that need this dark color on it. Okay, so we have this guy, this one, this one, that one. This one, that 
ความThe rest, there's a few more darkish green ones, but they have a bit of that blue mixed in with them. So we will come back to those ones um, after we get these just initial ones done. Then I'll be able to mix some dark blue in with that, and then we'll go from there. I'll probably end up doing two layers of this. But we shall see. Every time I set up the windows right in line with the sun right now, so the sun's coming right in my eyes. chunk right there pull that out yeah this is gonna need two layers I think there for sure that's okay I mixed up a good amount so not to worry I'm streaming a little bit earlier tonight than what I normally do because the baby got into bed pretty early. She's had a few rough days of naps and so she was tired early. But I think tomorrow I'll try to get back into my seven o'clock streaming time. So if there's anybody that tunes in later and actually you know, watches this through and can hear me. Apologize for that. I've got some other commitments later tonight too that meant I needed to, if I was going to paint, it needed to be now instead of um, later. And I've got a couple more commissions for websites because I designed websites as well. And so once I get these ones, these paintings, these three paintings done and sent off, I'm going to be spending a bit of time getting those websites done. And so um, I probably won't be live streaming my painting as much. And then I also will be doing some planning for my classes for the fall. And so my streams might be a little bit a little bit less often coming up here. Um, but that's that's life. I think I just need to set, you know, two nights a week where I make sure, okay, maybe Tuesdays and Thursdays or something are my stream nights. Weekends are always hard. You know, you never exactly know what you're going to be doing each weekend. I 
next weekend. I'll be busy, so I won't be able to to stream next weekend. Probably Friday night, but Saturday or Sunday. We might just get these dark greens done tonight. Maybe a little bit of the medium greens. I don't think we'll get get into the lighter greens tonight. I don't think we'll quite have time. We'll get into these tomorrow. We'll take a break over the weekend. We'll. Start getting some more work done this week. And tomorrow's a holiday. Not that that really means anything different for us here. <laughs> we'll be doing the same stuff. Oh no, I got a little bit of paint on my shirt. Let's see if I get it quick, if I can get it out. All right, sorry about that. Yeah, I pretty well got it out. I knew that was going to happen tonight. I usually don't get paint on my clothes, but I was thinking, you know, tonight's probably going to be that night. And sure enough, it was. Yeah, I pretty well got it out, though. So acrylic paint doesn't really come out of clothes that way, I have noticed. Just keep a shirt down here that I always paint with. And then I don't need to worry about that. I have aprons and stuff, I guess, too, but 
I don't usually put those on. All right, so we got the few main dark greens on. Now we will mix up some of the green with the uh, phthalo blue. Get that out here. Just put a little bit down. I don't need much. And we'll take some of the green. Take some of this blue. Try to mix that all in there. And then I'm going to want to lighten that up just a bit. Decide I might put a little bit more yellow in there. But I might, I think I'm going to end up using a little bit more white as well. Or not more white using a bit of white, because I haven't used any white yet today. Just being careful with this blue, because it's usually pretty powerful when you put it in. OK, yep, I'm going to need some white, which I am almost finished this bottle. Just about done. Okay, that should be good for what we're doing. Okay, before we get any further, I do want to use this, this green that we have here. Right on this square. Oh yeah, I got that paint out of my shirt all right. It was just a little dot, thankfully. I'm going to need a little bit more blue. If you've ever used, oh, what is it called? Viridian. There's the Viridian green. If you've ever used that before, that's kind of the effect that we're going for. It's a very bluey green. I was thinking vermilion, but that's not it. Okay, so let's take some more of this blue. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so let's put that out a little bit. Take this. this stuff and it is going to go on this piece, this one, that one, and that one. And then we're going to add, well, I guess with that darker 
that I still have in the back, I can finish up with a couple pieces that I need with this bluey green. The reason I'm using a more bluey green for these mountains right here is they are a little bit further back. And usually, if you look at mountains, the further back they are from where you are standing, and the greens turn more blue. They kind of get a blue hint to them to show a little bit of distance. So that's why these ones, instead of like the ones up front, have a little bit of this blue to them. A second coat these ones here they need it looks pretty good. Take some of this dark into the back here. Get a bit more blue in there.
Okay, I'm gonna use that same darker one I've mixed up here and we're gonna put that in um, there and in there. It's amazing how dark these green, you know, when I put them on, they didn't look that dry, but they sure do darken up. That's why I always lighten them up more than, more than what I think. And every time I second guess myself, but then always proves true. Um, one other green we're just going to get here. Steal some more of this white. Green. Is this little block right here. And we're gonna just take a little bit of this yellow, add that into this lighter one and just throw this guy in over here. Um, actually the same color can also be used. Let me put it away on this one here.
colors, our dark greens and our far away bluish greens. Um, on this one. I think I'm just gonna cut this one at half an hour. And um, tomorrow, either during the day, I will be streaming tomorrow night at the usual time, most likely between 7 and 7.15, um, maybe even 6.45 if you wanna tune into that. We will continue to work on these greens in the mountains, hopefully get those done um, tomorrow and uh, work from there. And then we'll, once we get to the lake, then we'll give this one a break, get out the moose one, finish that stuff up the mountains of that one. So we're working on the lakes at the same time, and then we'll go from there. So thanks to those of you who tuned in tonight. Always appreciate your company, and we will see you next time.